Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, Medieval 2 Total War Stainless Steel 6.4 as Poland. Now, I was on vacation for nearly five weeks, and that's quite a bit <laughs> in terms of, uh, yeah, time, and I'm going to have to catch up a bit. So, as a refresher to myself, and maybe you guys as well, I was bringing my reinforcements from the eastern part of my uh, territories. It was right here to help support my troops, which recently de defended uh, Thorn from being taken over by the Germans. I probably could take this without too much trouble, but I have to be able to defend this place w without um, it being too, like... Because if I just send, like, one stack of troops there, then, well, they pretty much could surround me with, like, some other armies, and I can't withdraw, and, well, my troops will get slaughtered, so I don't want that. And I'm retraining my troops right here. And I'm probably going to park my troops Your here for a second, or not, I don't know. Once they probably get to here, I'm probably going to summon my troops from Thorn and bring them over here. And my general's bodyguard will have rested up by then. And, yeah. I also have a mission to take uh, Polotsk, Polotsk from... Um, Novgorod, and I may or may not do that, probably won't, because, well, I don't have anything to really take it with. I could take them with some garrison troops, maybe, but they have an army right here, and I need to manage my religion carefully, so I my public order doesn't become too... Um, bad start it just excuse me uh, I'm just uh, pretty tired from my flight and I'm yeah this is gonna be a pretty short episode I guess and I'm s I'm sending this guy down there to be a merchant I guess yeah of course. We go no further this day. um what else I probably should build some more garrisons. Get myself another priest. Um, should I get an assassin or not? Yeah, I'll get an assassin as well. Crack owl maybe. Could use some more reinforcements. Did I build a blacksmith here or something? Oh, leather tanner. All right. <coughs> So I'm gonna train my troops so they get be better armor. And what else? Okay, we'll do crop rotation because population growth sucks right now. Let's manage our taxes in the east. I think we could raise this a bit. Yeah. Doesn't really matter for the growth. It's not too much of a difference. And I guess Riga maybe we could lower it just a little to increase our public order. Recruit these guys as well, even though they cost five florins for like one troop. And I was thinking about the unit scales there. I think they should be a bit more progressive, like starting with less troops per unit. Uh, in the early periods and then getting more troops like it per unit in the later eras because I'm unit size always is a bit I'm not sure what to really play with I prefer normal though I, I really I tried the huge or large or whatever unit settings before and it was really pretty fun though it's more like a giant mosh pit of units instead of uh, being uh, less units and it being a bit more t tactical and strategic. So
So this guy... I'm probably gonna put them in there later because right now they can't because Thorn is full. And I probably should build some more units here. Eh. Piaz Nobles are a bit expensive. Ooh, and I'm losing a bit of money, but that's because I'm building a bunch of crap. And this garrison should say light. Um. Okay. Still taking a while for these things to um, recruit, train, whatever. I like the music in this mod. It's pretty nice, actually. It's a bit different <laughs> from what you might expect. But, alright. Oh, I also um, bought Rome Total War and Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I had other co copies, but well, I lost the, like, CD code for online, so I bought a new copy, and if you guys want to verse me or anything, you can comment or inbox, and I will be glad to um, take you guys on, though I'm not very experienced with multiplayer because it's been a while and uh yeah I gotta polish my game up a bit so yeah I haven't done too much right now um got an English priest in my territory who's kind of helping out with the religion conversion hope uh I really hope that Lithuania no doesn't part. attack <coughs> my uh <coughs> settlement again. And I guess I'll end the turn. What, what was this guy doing down here? My king. Um, I already have trader rights with them. Okay. I think I have trader rights with Kiev as well. Hold on. No idea why I have that guy down there. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'll just um park this guy in the Novgorod's territory, maybe Kiev's territory to improve relations with them, because I think you can do that. <laughs> Continuing tomorrow, Mikey. Okay. Let's end the turn. Um, oh yeah, this guy's going to find a French guy who talked. Oh, he was. Yeah, that's probably why that diplomat was there to find that French guy. I'm gonna try to get an alliance with France because the Holy Roman Empire is at war with them. And dividing them will be for the best. And I'm gonna try to take Rokla and Stanton from them, which is right above. And. Oh, yeah, the jihading army has arrived to Constantinople. And they're probably gonna take it, because there doesn't appear to be <laughs> almost any garrison down there. Oh, and there we ran into a heretic priest, huh? Okay. <coughs> yeah, I took a little... took a little refresher for, like, what I, I was doing, like, a bit off-screen, so I could not be completely bewildered by what <coughs> I was doing last time, so... Yeah. And my voice is scratching up a bit already. But fortunately for me, it will be a bit short. And the Novgorodian army moves north to probably to Pskov, to Lithuania's territories. And there's Hungary. Now, Hungary, I could probably open up like a ripe tomato right now, but it won't be for the best because I need them to guard my southern border and I'm not going to focus my war efforts there. 
So I need to focus fully on the Holy Roman Empire and leave some garrisons along my eastern border just in case. Don't don't have to worry about the Mongols just yet. Who will most likely rape the Kumans and Novgorod and Kiev. And I might have to worry about that eventually. Okay. So it appears that King of Sicily's dead, King of Norway's dead, European paper. Cool. Oh, I'm ranked 8th. I think that's a quite a step up from last time. Byzantium's first in everything except for finances. And whoa, coming of age, some bishops gain piety, whatever. Papal States Byzantine Empire. Oh, that's really hilarious, actually. Okay, got to go to Plock to manage my agents I just recruited there. Poland gets another cardinal. And the Holy Roman Empire gets another cardinal. A Sicilian cardinal dies. So, it looks like I can control the church more than Sicily right now. I have uh, five priests, I believe. Bishops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and Sicily has uh, three. Yeah, this guy's probably going to die soon. Sadly. Because he's like... Yes. <coughs> 74. Uh, excuse me. Should have brought some water with me. Uh... Okay, and yeah, there are still other priests piling up on my borders, which isn't very good for my pu public order, especially in Riga, so I'm gonna get that priest from Plock. Who is my How may I serve? Okay. You can go to Riga. Continuing tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just make it as short as possible trip. Yes, my king. The other assassin Whose can go to Rokla. And the spy, I'm gonna move place him strategically a bit after this bridge right here. There, now I have a good view of any possible incoming armies. Unless they try to sneak by here, though I'm probably going to catch a glimpse of them before that. And they're likely going to pass through real call anyways. Okay, still returning these guys. Let's move my army. I prefer moving my armies myself so they don't run here. into anything. Get marching. Make camp here. Okay. So I am but a man of the cloth, senior. An honor lord. Is this a rebel town? Or Fran I think it's a French town. Yes, my Yeah. Yes, my lord. Oh hello, French. Would you like an alliance? Yeah, we'll give each other military access. It couldn't hurt. And plus we're on opposite sides of the Holy Roman Empire anyways. No. You have further proposals for us then? How about an alliance? No. Forget this. We are done now. Well screw you then. Um, I'm gonna offer an alliance first time next turn. Oh, and there's an inquisitor here already. I serve God. How about you go send them in the Holy Roman Empire to wreak some havoc? Okay. Agent limit reached. 
How tragic. Uh, is this the guy who came of age? Whoa. Yes, he's pretty good for a 14 year old. Though he's fiscally challenged, which is retarded. Okay. <laughs> One Crusader Knight. Your will, my king. My will is for you to go. Okay, we'll just send him um, west to like join with this army, and then we'll make use of him later because he like sucks at finances or something. Yeah, we need to gain money anyways. We rest here. <coughs> Okay, now we're making money again. Okay, that's good. And I'm probably going to continue this later. Oh, this guy's a priest. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to continue this tomorrow or, or something because I'm pretty tired and um, it's a start <laughs> for getting back from my vacation and yeah. Uh, I will see you guys later.